basically entrust President Xi with more power. So his position will be entrenched. That's on the, that's on the domestic political front. Um, on, the, on the economy, I think you've got a number of very clear trends. First of all, what's going to be the growth target for next year and, and subsequent years? And I think that they will, um, unlike you know, PBOC, who think that growth for the second half of this year will average 7%, and I think that's actually realistic and it's very clear that the Chinese economy re-accelerated over the last two to three months. But I think taking a two to three year view, um, I think two themes on the growth of the economy. First of all, there will be a low probability of a hard landing, despite concerns about consumer debt and the restructuring of the bad debts in the state-owned enterprises and the local authorities. That is continues to be a problem area. But I think a, a realistic growth target for at least the next two years of you know, plus or minus 6.5%. But very importantly, with, with I think sort of two themes coming out of this, first theme will be the push to develop what I call the new Chinese economy. So technology, transport infrastructure, energy infrastructure, uh, the consumer sector, healthcare. Those sectors are going to be given very much focus of attention. Uh, on the other hand, we'll hear the words risk management being used an awful lot. And what does risk management mean in English? It means they are continuing to work uh, to de-lever the shadow banking system. They've still got problems in the state-owned enterprises and the local authorities. Those non-performing loans there obviously need to be worked out. But Bob, when the work report is issued this week, uh, the market is saying, well, will we see more economic liberalization, more market-friendly policies effectively to open up China? Because I think when you hear some of the international discord, it's that international firms do not have the same access to China that China enjoys to international markets. Mm -hmm. But many say, we're not going to see that. We're not going to see China opening up. Forget about it. It's just not going to happen now. Um, I think it's I think it's very naive to assume that you're going to see further liberalization of the economy. Um, and I think it is going to be continue to be very much a directed economy with the focus on those sectors that I, I, I listed. So you're saying China can operate better if it keeps some of the shutters down at this point, whether it's around technology and its big state champions that it has, uh, and it can control the machine a little bit better if it doesn't liberalize at this point. Is that what you're saying? Uh, absolutely. And I think you know, the point to make is the state champions are probably morphing away from the problem areas they've got, like the heavy industry, heavy engineering, the mining sector, the steel sector, into more, you know, the new China, which I describe like as you know, technology and healthcare, for example. Yeah.